Barry Thorne with Buck Showalter. What a ball game. What a finish. Uh, a well-played game. Yeah, it was a good game. I mean, we needed that, those innings out of the way in. And uh, I was talking to Joe Angel before the game on, on the pregame show. He about due for one. And uh, he, he, I tell you, he held his stuff well there. We held his stuff well. He's getting an extra day next time out so we could extend him a little bit. How about the curveball? Uh, Adam from center field thought that may have been the best curveball he's seen him throw this year. Well, he's got a great view. You know, Adam's seen things after three or four days off with an off day, and we're not going to put him in harm's way. Obviously, we had uh, a relief pitcher ready there. If he can't get through that last inning, what a double play they turned yeah. there. And that's the difference. You know, a guy has a real tough chance. Get the pitch count up, so maybe Zach might not be available. And Chen, 6-6. Six and six. He really pitched well tonight. Orioles go 15 and 18 in one run. Both edges early on, he really mixed his pitches well and kept the Seattle hitters off balance. I thought it was a complete turnaround from his last start. He had perfect command. Look where the ball is and the catcher's mitt. This is what I watch up. Good target by Caleb Joseph. He barely has to move a target. Another strikeout. Zunino <laughs> taking that pitch right there, too. Way in chin. Had his location down. Good curveball right there. Didn't hang it. He kept it down in the zone. Another good fastball on the outside corner. Gutierrez goes down twice. So does Montero. So he was moving the ball around very well and very sharp. A little bit more energy than his last outing. An outstanding performance on his part. So he allows just the one run on the solo home run by Gutierrez leading off in the second. He goes seven and a third. Struck out five, walked two. Season high number of pitches thrown 111. And Buck Showalter came out and lifted him. He had retired 13 in a row before Mark Trumbo walked with one down in the eighth inning. That's when Buck came and got him because the tying run was coming to the plate. But, Rick, you look at this outing by Chen tonight. His prior three, he had gone five and a third, three and a third, and five innings. Tonight he goes seven and a third. It's his tenth start of at least seven innings on the year. That is more than any starter on the staff. Seven and a third innings with a chance to be the winning pitcher.